Today we have a rather exciting car in. We don't see too many of these types of cars and well, there's a couple of reasons for that. We don't really do too much carbon for them, but it's nice to see a proper V8 in our workshop. By proper, I mean naturally aspirated like they used to be, a little bit old fashioned, but they sound absolute nuts. So we're excited to start working on this one. And you might be thinking, what's it doing here? Well, you probably have guessed it already, carbon fiber. So this diffuser has had a fight with something and it's not come off particularly well. So whether the car's been reversed into a low curb or, or tree stump, who knows? But either way, as Tim will probably show you a little bit later on with some close-ups, it's got a little bit of damage on the back here and it's starting to sort of eat away a little bit of carbon. It doesn't look great, particularly for something like this. So we have a new diffuser going on it. So if my glamorous assistant passes me a lovely bit of carbon here, let's uh, that's give a bit of a comparison. So it's not too dissimilar. It's a similar sort of style, but we have slightly bigger Venturis here at the bottom. It's got a little bit more shape here in the middle, but this is what's going on. So we're keen to get this one on the car. Well, I think we need to do a little bit of a rev video as well, just for fun, so you guys can hear it. I'll pass that back to my glamour assistant again. But yeah, looking forward to getting this one uh, underway. I'm really keen to hear as well what it sounds like in an enclosed workshop. Hopefully we'll just wear gas masks and we'll be fine here revving it. But yeah, let's get stuck into this one and uh, we'll see you when this one's halfway through at the end of it. Catch you in a bit. So the diffuser is back on now, or at least the new diffuser is on. Uh, so for this particular car, we had to take the, the bumper off, make sure the diffuser is clipped in properly. These cars are capable of some serious speed, so it's nice to belt on braces. Um, we've de decontaminated the bumper to make sure obviously there's no dirt and grit. And then we put a nice bit of uh, plastic film over it. So again, when we take the bumper off, it's nice and protected. So uh, that's all now complete. Um, we're, we're happy with the finish but more than anything, it's gonna look significantly better than obviously what was on the car when it came in damaged. Um, we, when we removed it, we realized actually there was more damage under the car as well, where it had effectively split. Um, but yeah, back on now, looks absolutely fantastic. Fit is brilliant as well. I mean, you can see it, it's just a really nice fitting part, but yeah, I wanna get this car out there in daylight and also want Sam to give it a little bit of a blip as it goes out, because these things sound savage. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that video guys and see you next time. You know what to do, Sam.